Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter 11, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Now this says to use a protractor to find the angled measures. I'm gonna tell you a secret. I just went to Google and printed one out, okay? It doesn't matter if it's from Google and paper, okay? That's all mine is, okay? Uh, you just gotta have one, okay? Now the way that you use these is you're gonna line up this little dot right there, Okay, the little one I just colored in. You're going to line that up with the dot in the center. Okay, so we're going to line it up. Now, you're going to use the inside on this case, it doesn't matter, but you're going to use the one on the inside for your measurements. Okay, so that's right at 90, which we could tell based on the fact that it looks exactly like an L, most of the time it will have one of those little boxes. Okay. So that one's 90 degrees, okay? Now this one, okay? I'm gonna line this up the best I can, and I'm gonna go over, and if you need to, if it's super big, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line this up like this, and it's about halfway between 50 and 60, so I'm gonna say 55. Done, okay? So, it's really not hard, I promise, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead, and this one says to use a protractor to draw the angle. So I'm going to put a dot in, okay? And I'm going to put one going straight, okay? Now, I'm going to put that dot on my protractor, and I'm going to go 40 degrees is right about there. Right there, okay? Now, I just got to connect it. Done. Okay. Pretty easy, guys. Okay. Now, 170. So I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to draw a line straight up. Put another dot right there. I'm going to line up the first dot as best I can. When you do have one of the plastic protractors, they're clear so you can see through them. It does make things a little easier. Okay. But I'm going to line up the best I can. I'm going to go, oh, there's 170. So I'm going to put it right on that line, actually. Okay. And I'm going to draw that in. Okay. It's almost a straight line. Okay. All right. So now we're going to draw an example of each, uh, draw an example of each and label the angle with its measure. Okay. So, a right angle. A little right angle is just an L. Okay? That's even a right angle. Okay? And a right angle is 90 degrees. Done. Okay? We're going to go ahead and put our dots in, though, just so that we've got them. Nothing wrong with that. Okay? Now, the next one, it says an acute angle. So, any angle that is smaller than 90 degrees, which at this point we know, okay? So, I'm gonna put my dot in, and I'm gonna make it, let's say about 40 degrees, okay? Done, okay? All right, the drawing shows the angles a stair tread makes with a support board along the wall. Use your protractor to measure the angles, okay? So this is angle A, if I could draw a straight line, it would be at least. And this right here is angle B, okay? So the first one, we're gonna go ahead and but we're going to line up the best we can. And it looks like it's going right over to just about, well, it's right in between 40 and 50. So we'll call it 45, okay? So 45 degrees, okay? Now, the next one, I'm going to turn my protractor upside down because it's kind of upside down. And I'm going to go... You are right in right 
between 130 and 140. I'm going to say 135. Okay. Okay. Honestly, if you're within about five degrees, your teacher's going to give it to you, honey. Okay. So, I mean, they're, they're close enough together that as long as you're right around there, you're good. Okay. All right. So, we're going to go over to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay. And we're going to go down and do spot review. Now, I'll have to excuse the fact that my pen bled through the paper a little bit. It says Derek earned $1,472 during the first four weeks he had a summer job. If he earned the same amount each week, how much did he earn each week? Okay, well, one, four, seven, two, and we're dividing it by four because four weeks, okay? So, four is not gonna go into one placeholder. Four will go into 14, three times, three times four is 12. Subtract it, two. Two is smaller than four, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring down my seven. Four goes into 27, let's see, six times for 24, subtract and get three. Three is smaller than four, so I'm gonna bring down that two. Four goes into 32, eight times, which is 32, subtract, get zero. So $368. Okay. All right, Arthur baked one and seven twelfths dozen muffins. Nina baked one and one twelfth dozen muffins. How many muffins did they bake? So, one and seven twelfths plus one and one twelfth. Well, I'm gonna take that one and that one and I'm gonna put them over here so that I can go ahead and Add those up afterwards. Okay. Now seven twelfths and one twelfth. Well, that's eight twelfths. Okay. So now I have one two and eight twelfths, but eight twelfths can be reduced. Okay. Four goes into eight twice, and four goes into twelve three times. So two and two thirds dozen muffins. Okay, Trisha drew the figure below. What figure did she draw? Well, if you start at one point and you go to another past it with an arrow, it's just like a sun's ray. So I'm gonna call it a ray. And we have to put ST or TS, sorry, TS because it started at T and went to S. So put ray. TS. Okay? All right. Measure and describe the turn shown by the angle. Be sure to tell about the size and the direction of the turn. Okay? Well, the size, let's start there. So it's right at 90 degrees. So it's also, if we were to do this, it's a quarter of the circle. So one quarter turn. And if we had numbers on a clock, it would start with one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going in the order of the numbers, which makes it clockwise. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out for 11.3. Come on back for 11.4. See you soon.